There's the so-called cannon upgrade kits, and according to the RuneScape wiki, the Dwarven one doubles the cannon's damage, and the All That Co upgrade kit increases the damage output by about 50%. On paper, this sounds like a serious buff, and judging by the numbers, it does seem accurate. But is it really that big of a buff? Let's find out together, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So I'm going to be entirely honest, these cannon upgrade kits are really, really expensive. They're anywhere from 25 to 32 million GP, depending on which one you want, excluding the Kinetic Cyclone, of course, which uh, no one really uses. One of the best places to see the difference in kills per hour using a different or upgraded cannon is, of course, Venomous Dinosaurs, as they get hit by the All That Call pretty much constantly. Now, to keep it as fair as possible, I didn't try hard because there would be too much variability between two different sessions of Slayer, and I would just AFK using the same bar, no armor spikes, just my scythe, and that was around 336 kills per hour. Now you might notice that the All That Calls cannon hits are around 80 to, let's say, 1100 per hit at max. Of course, the hits are a little bit higher, as you just saw there, but let's say that's around the max amount of hits you'll see. Now with the upgrade, you see a lot more 15, 16, 1700, and sometimes even above that damage per cannibal hit. You still see low hits, of course, but the ceiling of damage for each cannibal is definitely higher. Now I have no idea how you would see the max or minimum hit of your cannon since you cannot place it near a DPS dummy. However, if you compare 1200 to a hit you just saw right there, like 1733, that's an increase of around 44%, so that 50% of the wiki is probably accurate. Now, in terms of effect on your Slayer task, of course these hits are still very low because your average hit with a Scythe is obviously much higher than the cannon, and it resulted in an increase of around 9.23% in kills per hour, up to 367. Is that a massive increase? Uh... Yeah, it's alright, I guess. It does, however, give you 9.23% more sharks in your inventory every single hour. Today's video has been sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is a fast and easy to use VPN that you can install and run on unlimited devices at the same time with a strict no logs policy. So what is a VPN and what could you use it for? Well, VPN is a virtual private network that protects your data and provides IP and DNS leak protection so that no one can find where you're connecting from and what you're doing on the internet. You could use Surfshark VPN to protect your data when using public Wi-Fi or to unblock certain websites or perhaps to unlock country exclusive content on platforms like Netflix. I've personally used this feature to watch stuff like Barney and Friends. Just kidding, but I've used it to watch movies like Real Steel on Netflix USA and in the past to watch Vikings before it eventually did become available in my country near the final season. And with over 1800 servers in 63 countries, I'm sure you'll find it useful. Apart from the basics, Surfshark also has some more advanced features like Multistop, which allows you to put two different VPN servers in between you and the destination, and Clean Web, which automatically blocks over a million no malicious websites and phishing methods. If you're interested in picking up Surfshark, be sure to use my link in the description below with the promo code PROTOX for 83% off and an extra 3 months for free. And if you don't end up liking it, there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. I also went ahead and did a Node on Creatures AFK task, which uh, I noticed isn't as AFK as people might have thought using my guide. There's a couple of different spots you can use if you want to be a little bit safer, like this one or the one in my crew's guide. As for kills per hour, I definitely noticed the task went by a little bit faster and it ended up being a total of 290 kills per hour which means an increase of around 8.61% compared to when I last did them without the upgrade. That's very similar to the 9.23% of the venomous dinosaurs and definitely nothing to be ashamed about. On to Ganodermic Beasts, which I tested twice. The reason for that is because I was a little bit scared there'd be too much variability in my kill per hour when doing Garanodermic Beasts because you move around, sometimes you sun in time, sometimes you don't, sometimes your tsunami hits multiple Ganodermic Beasts, and I was using the Insight Fear spell, by the way, which helps a lot for AoE Slayer. But yeah, my kills per hour were already higher because I was using Insight Fear, about 100 kills higher, and then after getting the cannon upgrade, I ended up getting around 1,045 kills per hour. I finished my task in like, like four minutes, it was ridiculously quick, 
and that's an increase of 16%. Like I said, there is maybe a little bit more variability to this task. Sometimes you hit more tsunamis, sometimes you drag them near your cannon on purpose. Let's just say it's around 9 to 10% as well, just like with Nodon creatures and venomous dinosaurs. Now with the Ripper Demons, well, something weird happened. When comparing it to my older footage I had saved from when I made my guide, I initially got 5% less kills per hour. Now back when I was gathering footage and testing stuff for my Ripper Demons guide, I also received a different amount of kills per hour each task. I think it has to do with RNG and how many jumps you get per hour or task. If you're wondering, I simply record the task and time how long it takes me to finish it. Let's say I get 100 kills in 10 minutes, that's 600 kills per hour. Simple math. So in one of my older bits of footage I found, I got 435 kills per hour. And in another where I ended up dying, so not that big of a sample size, about 405. It is worth noting I was using a tank armor hood and boots using the anime dead spell to make it basically foodless and a lot more AFK though I don't think that contributed to that much of a decrease in kills per hour. With all of that being said, I did feel like I received a little more jumps than usual. It would be either a 5% decrease in kills per hour or 2% increase, which doesn't make any sense. This is from multiple tests comparing it to multiple different old footage bits I've saved on my computer. Maybe the Ripper Demons have too much health and it isn't as noticeable, or maybe I just need the ability to you know, have a Slayer task of 400 kills in a row and I can camp here and then compare the before and after, but you know, I can't really de-upgrade my cannon now, can I? It's either that or taking like a 10 hour sample of multiple different Slayer tasks but I, I simply can't de-upgrade my cannon now, so I'm screwed. I just don't think it makes that big of a difference here, but it's an upgrade for sure. Regarding the Royal Dwarf cannon upgrade, I decided to test it at Moss Golems. Now, the interesting thing about Moss Golems is that even though I was using the exact same gear, exact same potions, exact same aura, exact same gold book, and all that kind of stuff, I only got a 2.8% increase in kill sparrow on the first task I did, and 10% on the second task. Again, that shows you that variability is definitely a factor, and that gives us an average increase of 6.4%. Oh look, we finally got one and only took me a million kills. If we exclude quest-related creatures, the final good task to test the difference with an upgraded cannon would be Eretz. And well, the difference was pretty wild. The last time I tested these was back in February of 2020, and I didn't have a ZGS and all that kind of stuff. I wasn't using a ZGS, so I didn't use one now. I didn't try hard either, and the difference was still crazy. I do think Archaeology Relics might have helped a bit because back then Archaeology wasn't released yet as it was released in March, but I went from 605 to 775 kills per hour, which is an increase of 21.8%. Do I really think the cannon increased the task speed by 28%? Well, likely not, as positioning and clustering up errors can definitely impact your kills per hour. Now, if we exclude that funky minus 5% and instead take the 2% Ripper Demon task, we would get an average of around 11.75% increase in kills per hour when looking at these six different tasks. Let's be reasonable and round that down to a 10% increase, which means if the cannon upgrade costs 30 million GP and you're making 5 million GP per hour net profit on average, the cannon would pay for itself by increasing your GP per hour in just 60 hours. If you're making 10 million GP per hour net profit, that is decreased to just 30 hours. If you already have 200 mil Slayer, I don't see why you would get this cannon upgrade, but if you're going for 120 or 200 mil right now, this is definitely something you need to look into. Or perhaps buy it to use it at the very few bosses you can place down a cannon like Calfight Queen. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.